Hey guys, today I'm going to be talking about whether or not you should buy a box of Dragons of Tarkir. I'm going to talk about my own assessment of it. A lot of times I don't like to tell you guys what to do, but I will tell you what I'm going to do and you guys can kind of make your own opinions about it. In my opinion, Dragons of Tarkir, a very fun set. I kind of look at it as more casual, more EDH, obviously the dragons and whatnot. But that being said, the value seems to all be in these mythics. And I don't like a set with a value, a large set with the values in the mythics. The reason being, you pull far fewer mythics than the rares. I mean, the rares are actually where most of the money is. If you guys, I, somebody leave in the comments below the exact math, but that's how a box, a typical box has money is not necessarily in the mythics, but in the rare slot. So the rares are not um, incredibly that useful. Uh, compared to i mean it really is a you're going to get an epic box or you're going to get a box without much about val eternal value now that being said we still don't know if there's a land cycle there might very well be a, a land cycle and even if it's not fetch lands having a land cycle of like two dollars four dollar lands i mean it is kind of relevant like it is important to have those cards that you can pull which make back the money of the booster pack so that's left to be seen i believe now the mythics look very good Good. and the dragons look very good and this deck is definitely going to have eternal value in the casual sense but uh, it's not going to have in my opinion it's not going to have that much modern value i don't know so if you're an edh player this set buy a box you will enjoy opening the box you will have fun with the box if you are more of a modern player this box might not be for you and yeah, in my opinion, I normally buy how much? Do, I normally buy a case or two, or maybe a few, two and a half cases. The new set. I'm only going to buy four boxes of this particular set. Uh, my feeling about it, my gut feeling about uh, this set is, I I have the worst luck ever. So when I'm opening boxes and stuff, I definitely never open the Chase Mythic. I always open like. The, the way I get money back from the boxes I open is from the $10 fetch lands, the, you know, from the blue day deltas, for, from the flooded strands, etc, etc. Um, or even Fate Reforged, I did pretty well in because they had fetch lands. Um, in this particular box, it's kind of like you gotta hit the money cards or else you're gonna be out of money <laughs> really fast. So I don't know, um, my feeling is if you're an EDH, you're a casual player, this is a perfect box for you to buy. Um, if you are more of a, first of all, if you're more of like a uh, singles person, then just stick to our uh, singles, but don't degrade people who like opening boxes, right? Um, there's no reason to do that. Um, where do you think your singles come from? <laughs> anyway, that's a small side note. So I'm going to buy four boxes. I like the set. I like it a lot, but I, for me personally, I have terrible luck and i'm looking at all these epic mythics all with high price tags i'm just like well i'm never going to pull any of those 